Hey everybody, Tanner here, and today we're gonna create our own lower third all within Final Cut 10. It's gonna be something completely custom with a modern feel and easy to create on your own. So let's jump in. All right, everybody, here we are inside of Final Cut 10, and we're gonna make a little lower third today. So if we come over here to our title section and we scroll down or select down to lower thirds, we can see that we have an entire selection of lower thirds. Um, everything from like, you know, kind of a little lens flare thing to an upper third, um, but we're doing lower thirds today, so that doesn't make sense. Um, and then we have like little newsreel bumps, all this sort of stuff, all the way up back up to the top of just a basic lower third. But today we're not going to be using any of those. We're going to make something custom, a little bit different, a little bit more modern, and just overall cooler. So first off, where we want to start out with is we just kind of want to come in here to our build in, build out. And we are just going to go over to our custom section and just take make basically one custom title. So here we are, we drop this in. We'll see that it kind of places in the center of the footage, which doesn't make sense as a lower third. But to start out, we will give our person a name and we're going to call this person Aunt Sally. All right, so now Aunt Sally has a name. And what we're gonna do is we are going to move Aunt Sally's name down to the actual lower third portion of the frame. Perfect. All right, so next thing for a lower third is you want the person's name and you also want their title. So, you know, what they do for a living, why they're being interviewed, all of those things. So we're gonna come back here to our custom. We're gonna bring it down, drop it in. And now we have to give Aunt Sally a title and Aunt Sally likes to tell a lot of jokes. So she is a comedian. Perfect. Okay. Um, one thing I always like to do too, just kind of an aesthetic thing, lowercase on that. All right, so now we bring this down, kind of, we'll roughly line those up right now. So if we look at this, Aunt Sally, comedian, technically it's lower third, but let's be honest, it doesn't look great. So we're gonna do some things to spice it up a little bit here. So first thing is we're gonna come here and we scroll down and let's change up our font for our Aunt Sally. So we're gonna go with the standard premium beat font right here. Looks good, bold. Well, we'll increase the size a little bit. That's looking better. That makes a little bit more of a statement. We'll move this over here. All right, now we wanna select our comedian portion Looking good, drop that in. And we will go ahead and change our font here as well. And instead of the bold, we'll go regular. I always just think it looks better to have kind of contrasting weights within the font. So we put those two together. It looks a little bit better, still not quite there yet. So what I like to do here is I like to bring in a solid element. Um, so we're gonna bring in a white element here. I'm gonna put that on top. Let's change it to bright white. And we're gonna change its size. So let's go ahead and do this. We're just gonna skinny it down some. There we go. And just, we're gonna get it to a weight that actually makes kind of sense and we're gonna rotate it. Kind of get it on, what is that, 161 degree axis. Then we're gonna bring this down right in between Aunt Sally and Comedian. As something just to kind of separate those two a little bit more. If I'm being honest, I do think that that's still pretty heavy on the weight. So let's adjust that, boom. Looks like we'll have to fine tune it. So we'll go like 0.5 here. 
There we go. That's looking good. All right. So now we have Aunt Sally. She is a full-fledged comedian. We know who she is. She tells funny jokes. Awesome. All right. So we have this. We're coming in. Boom. We have a nice little lower third here. All right. But you probably notice it's a little bit hard to see what her text is doing here. So this is a point where we want to do like a nice little drop shadow. Add something to have help this pop up from the background a little bit. So we're going to do another custom color here. We'll make sure we put this on the very bottom layer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so I went ahead and extended, expanded out this timeline here so it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little shape mask here. Going to bring this in so we can kind of hope to bring out our title a little bit better from the background there. I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out, bring it right here, looking good. We're going to go ahead and amplify that feather quite a bit there. So if we were to do something just like this, like, yeah, you can obviously see the title a lot better, but it, it doesn't look great. So now that we have this and we feather that out with this feather tool up here, we just want to drop our fill opacity to an acceptable level and really bring that in to something that looks great right there. Okay. I think we're starting to look pretty good. Awesome. And we can see that we can see that a lot better because if we went here and toggled this on and off, you can see how much more just adding that little solid with a mask right underneath pops it out quite a bit more for us. So one last little final touch I like to add here is we're going to select all of our clips that are kind of part of the lower third family. And we hit Command T here. And now we have like a nice little soft fade in. We can kind of adjust that if we want it to be a little bit longer. We can come here and we'll make it like 12 frames all across the board just to kind of really ease into the clip here. And there we go. Now we have Aunt Sally's name, her title, none of her jokes at the moment. And then we have a nice little fade out of the title at the end. So that's a great way to make a simple and easy lower third within Final Cut 10 that looks a little bit better than, you know, kind of the built-in lower thirds that we looked at in the beginning. Because if we were to do one of those, this is kind of what we'd have. Or we'd have one of these like little basic gradients here. Now, while this was a simple approach, you could take this to the next level and bring it inside of After Effects or Motion and really add a lot of movement to it and motion blur and take it to the next level. But this application also works really well. It looks great, has a great aesthetic to it and will pair well with your footage. So thanks for checking us out. We'll see you guys around.